Okay, so again, we use our brackets um, because there's going to be a repeating decimal here. So for the first one, bracket 12 divided by 17, close the bracket, and we take the inverse cosine, and you get approximately, and if you're going to round this to one decimal place, approximately 45.1 degrees. For the next one, again, put our um, fraction in brackets, so 7 over 6, close the bracket, inverse, and this time we're going to find the inverse of tan, and we get approximately, if we're going to round this to one decimal place, 49.39 is going to round to approximately 49.4 degrees. So we can solve, if we know two sides of a right angle triangle, we can use the primary trigonometric ratios to solve for either of the two acute angles in that triangle. So these are the steps we're going to follow. First of all, we have to identify for the angle we're looking for the opposite hypotenuse and adjacent side. And then what we're going to do is substitute in our values and then use our inverse trigonometric function, so that's sine of the negative 1, cosine of the negative 1, or tan to the negative 1 on our calculator to solve for the angle. So looking at an example here, we're looking for angle theta, and we're given two side lengths, and we can set up the ratio. So we have to begin by uh, figuring out what sides we're talking about. And we've got the adjacent side for angle theta, and we have the hypotenuse. So since we know the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, what we're going to do is use the trigonometric ratio that involves adjacent and hypotenuse. And that is going to be the cosine ratio because cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So what we're going to do next is we're going to sub into our equation. And we know the adjacent is 8. We know the hypotenuse is 10, so we're going to use the cosine of angle theta using adjacent over hypotenuse to calculate the measure of angle theta. So we substitute in, so cosine of theta is equal to 8 over 10. Then what we're going to do is isolate theta, and we're going to use the opposite operation, which is the inverse cosine. So we're going to take the inverse cosine of both sides. And we get angle theta is equal to cosine inverse cosine or cosine to the negative 1 of 8 over 10. So now we're going to use our calculator. We're going to find, and we we'll get in the habit of using the brackets. So it's 8 divided by 10. And close the brackets, which is 0 0.8. We didn't need the calculator for that. So we're going to find the inverse cosine of 0 0.8. And that's 36.869, and that's the one we were looking at previously. And we find that angle theta is equal to approximately 36.9 degrees. So now this triangle, again, has two known sides and a missing angle. And what I'd like you to do now is find the measure of angle y, and then check your solution.